Hey guys, Carlos here. These are the top 10 must have been plugins for web development. Um, a little warning, this is just my opinion based on my experience. It may or may not work for your particular needs. So let's get it started. Number 10, Bundle. Bundle is a plugin manager for Beam. Uh, it allows you to easily install, uh, update, and remove Beam plugins. Um, why use Bundle? Because, or any other plugin manager. Um, well, the reason is managing Beam plugins manually is is basically a hard work. It's a lot of work. Uh, so there are many other options, but this is what the one I like to use. Number nine, Nertree. Nerti provides a file tree viewer uh, for Beam. I use it mainly to to browse between all the different directories in in, in the project. Uh, but you can you you can do different things like, uh, for example, crea creating new new dirs or creating new files in the in your in the, in the project, like like for example this one. Um, yeah, it has many other options. Number eight, Bing Color Schemes. This plugin uh, includes hundreds of uh, color schemes for Beam. Um, in the thing is that uh, a lot of the color scheme may not work in in your in in Beam if you are using the terminal version. But if you use the, for example, MacBean, uh, they, they probably look correct a lot. But some of them include different uh, support board like Terminal and, and the GUI versions. So yeah, if you get bored with your current team, you can just start trying different ones. Let's try another one. Number seven, Bean Jinja. If you work with Symfony or basically you just use the Twig engine with any other framework, uh, or if you are a Python developer, um, you should have this plugin because it, it this plugin bas basically gives you uh, syntax highlighting for your templates. So you can have some nice colors around your Twig tags. Number six, Bing Coloreski. This plugin shows a color preview of the of the hex code you have in your in your style sheet, for example. Here you can see a little preview of the color. And if you even if you use the name notation, it, it still works. Also, if you have a RGB function, as you can see here it is still works so yeah it's really helpful when you're working with uh, style sheets number five being surround this plugin helps you to surround things uh, for example if you have a word that is surrounded by uh, double quotes like in this case and you want to change that to single quotes you type uh, ch double quotes single quotes that's basically C is for uh, change, su surround, double quotes, and the things you want to change uh, for that. So let's, for example, let's try in this one. If I want to change this to double quotes, you type C, S, single quotes, double quotes. And that's how it works. And if, for example, you're working on a um, on an HTML on a, on a tweak template for example and you want to to surround some word with uh, with attack for example let's say uh, join or meet up and I have this word here and I want to and I want to add an attack so to surround this this line with attack 
I I type S H two and that's it. And yeah, you can use you can basically surround things with any anything. Uh, but these are basically the the most common the most common use cases. Number four, Beam Airline. This plugin simply gives you a, a nice status bar at the bottom of Beam with some useful information. Uh, for example, you can see here the the status, the the mode you are currently in Beam. If you go to um, insert mode, if you're in normal mode, if I also shows you the current Git branch, the name of the file and some other information here at the right. Number three, Control P. This plugin provides fuzzy search in Beam. Uh, if you type uh, Control P and if you start start typing the the name of the file you want to find it will show you all the all the different matches for that so let's try it. as i type home find the, it found these two matches so i can open the file i use this all the time to to find to open any file that i, I need to to work on number two ulti snips this plugin saves you some time when you are typing your code. Uh, it allows you to insert predefined pieces of code, um, basically code uh, snippets. Um, so, for example, here if I'm working on a on a Symfony controller uh, on a PHP file, and I and I want to create a new action, I can just type func and tap, and it will basically expand that with the snippet so I can just complete the the things that I need so yeah it's more elegant than just doing copy and paste like in like I will do this junk and, and paste so yeah and there are other cases for example if I'm using if I'm working on a JavaScript I use this one a lot like for debugging so yeah, that's basically all, all these snips. And number one, being prettier. So, so the last one is being prettier. Uh, this one is my favorite right now. Um, it's it's a it's a plugin that allows you to to format your code automatically. Uh, it currently works mm, only with uh, front end. Uh, files like j uh, JavaScript files, CSS, SAS, uh, Vue, JSON, but uh, there's work in progress for, for PHP, Ruby, Python, and all that. So it simply works like that. When you're working on a CSS file, for example, and you save the file, you can see the different uh, in the format. Uh, for example, it fixes little things like this 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 brackets uh, um, but and I have uh, I like to use four spaces so he also fix that so yeah it's, it's very helpful uh, if you are working on a JavaScript let's try on this one you can see how it basically looks a lot better with being prettier so yeah this 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 uh, this tool is can be used with many different uh, editors but luckily we have the option to use it with Beam. If this video was useful, please don't forget to leave your like and subscribe for more videos and thanks for watching.